So the rusty nail, the best things in life are always simple. Um, this is a two ingredient drink, much like the, uh, the Black Russian, which we're gonna talk about in another video. But um, this one's a great cocktail because you may have seen your granddad drink this back in the day. Uh, it is a little bit on the sweeter side, so modern adaptation of the rusty nail. Um, back in the day, it would have been traditionally equal parts, one to one, uh, scotch and dram brut on the rocks, uh, built. I personally like it a little bit more scotch, a little bit more sting. So if you do three parts uh, scotch to one part trambouille, that works well. And then you can also brighten it up using, I don't know, citrus or... Yeah, you can, you can brighten it up using some, some uh, an orange zest, just express those oils over the yeah. drink. I would discard it. I think that, like Nate said, this is a great drink, just simple. So mm -hmm. you can just build it, stir it down in the glass in which you built it, and, and serve it. You don't, I mean, if you wanted to get a little fancy with it, you could you could stir it in a separate mixing glass and then pour it over a nice big rock. Yeah. That'd, be, that'd be a really sexy option as well, but I think this drink is totally fine if you just build it, stir it, serve it. Um, Let's talk about Drambuie. What's, what's yeah, Drambuie? So, so Drambuie is, it's a, um, a scotch-based liqueur. Mm -hmm. uh, it's flavored with, with honey and heather. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, that's just gives it a really nice viscous. It's a little bit sweeter, mm -hmm. a little bit of floral from the heather flowers, but for the most part, the honey is what you're going to be tasting. Uh, fortified honey scotch liqueur. Yeah, so it goes. It makes sense. It goes super well with a scotch, your scotch base, and and essentially just a really symbiotic relationship between the dram beer and the scotch. It's a simple drink and lovely little stiff sweet cocktail.